welcome back. We're out in the hen house again today. My last video I did, the chicks were just reaching six weeks old, and I was trying to hand tame them to where they would come to me, eat out of my hand. If I needed them to follow me, they would follow me with treats. Well, I've been working on it, working on it, and it's been a couple of weeks. So I want to show you guys the progress with how friendly these chicks have become. All right, you guys, as you can see, they're all waiting for their treats. I've got some cracked corn and wheat in here. Um, the mealy worms they like as well, but I found they love the corn a lot better. It's more like a sugar to them. But as you can see, they all just come up here and start eating out of my hand. I do recommend wearing gloves because the beak does hurt every now and then when you get one that is a little more hungry. So check this out, you guys. I've also found if I walk anywhere, they will follow me. So this is a good way to train your chickens if you're moving them from pin to pin. They will follow you with treats as well. Oh, sweetheart. So these guys are between eight and nine weeks old. The next stage we're gonna be doing, we're working on the outside run right now. Once I get these guys able to go out in the run and where they're safe, I'm gonna show you guys the importance of having a chicken dust bath area and why we do it. So that'll be coming up here soon in one of my next videos. Look at that, you guys. I don't know if you guys are seeing all the varieties in here, but I definitely got my favorites. And as you can see, some of them are just now getting pin feathers on their back. So you will actually, that one that's bent down right now over here, she's got a bald spot right now because her pin feathers aren't in all the way. Some of them have already come in, and as you can see, there's a few that they're growing right now. That's when they start getting their adult feathers. So these guys have definitely been off of the heat lamp now for a while. But I just thought I would share this with you guys. I know I was, my last video I was showing you, wow, he grabbed my finger. How to train your chickens to be friendly and here you go, this is all it takes. Absolutely amazing. you guys so I kind of wanted to grab a few and give you an up close look at some of these so this is one of my hens that was from a leghorn you can tell by the coloring of her feathers but the rooster we had is what's giving the gray look so this being my brown leghorn she will actually lay white eggs you can tell by the color of their ears if they have a pale pink to a white, they're going to lay a white egg. If their ears are brown or darker color, which I'll grab one and show you, that, that means they're a brown egg layer. But I just wanted to show you guys some of these. I'm going to grab a couple more and show you up close and personal. But this is going to be a leghorn cross, brown leghorn. They're super beautiful. As you can see, her, wet, her feathers are just gorgeous. Here's going to be one of my Aracana mixes. You can tell Americana chicks always have a puffy cheek on them. Come here, sweetie. You can see the little puff on her cheeks. So these guys are going to lay your blue-green eggs. So their ears, they're harder to tell, but they're more of a whitish color. But they do lay a blue-green egg. And they're super beautiful. But let's give you a close-up look of her. She's a little freaked out right now. I think I'm disturbing them a little bit. I'm going to try to grab one more, you guys, and then we'll call it good for the day. But isn't she beautiful? Here's one of the Bard Rock mixes. You can tell by the coloring of her feathers. These are also an excellent layer. They lay a good-sized brown egg. 
you can tell her ears, they'll develop more once I start laying the color, but they're a tan color. And like I said, once they start laying, these actually, the white egg layers, their ears actually become white. They'll look like a white growth to where the brown ones blend more and look more reddish, brownish. But isn't she a beauty? So here's the last one I'm gonna grab. I think I've stirred them up quite a bit. So this is a light Brahma. These girls get really, really big. They lay a nice lighter brown egg. They lay somewhere around probably 200 eggs a year. So they're not a huge layer. I've got some in here that actually lay up to 300 eggs a year, like your leghorns. So she's a beauty. They do tend to be a lot bigger than your normal size hen. And let's see if I can hold her. And as you can see, they are a feather foot one. But these are one of my favorites and my husband's. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I just want to give you a quick update. But also stay tuned to see us letting them out in the run. I can't wait. These guys are going to love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much and have a good day.